Imagine having a personal robot at home like a real companion that, in addition to being a great companion, takes care of everything for you. It cleans the house, mows the lawn, walks the dog, teaches your children, and even babysits. And that's not all. It can also help you produce goods and provide services efficiently. Welcome to the Tesla universe. Now stop and think. What would it be like to have a humanoid robot that not only organizes your house but also washes your clothes, carries heavy objects, does the shopping, and even takes care of the garden? It would be amazing, wouldn't it? Especially on weekends when no one wants to waste their free time with boring household chores. That's exactly why Elon Musk is betting big on the Tesla bot Optimus. And let's be honest, this initiative could become even more impactful than electric cars. If mass production becomes a reality next year, the Tesla bot could become a real revenue-generating machine. Unlike Tesla cars, which spend most of their time parked, the robot would always be active, performing tasks and even generating financial returns for its owners. Of course, Musk acknowledges that Optimus still has some flaws. But do these issues really compromise its safety? Can it still be useful even with some early flaws? Let's find out. And one request. Please treat the Optimus robots well. Soon it will be possible to approach them as if they were waiters, serving drinks at a bar, for example. When we hear humanoid robot, many of us, myself included, immediately imagine a bright future where machines handle the heavy, dangerous, or simply tedious tasks of our daily lives. Who has never dreamed of a robot that could cook, wash the dishes, and take care of the mess around the house? But at the same time, many people worry about the dark side of the story. The fear that these machines will replace human jobs, or even rebel, as in science fiction movies. And then there are those who find humanoid robots slow, clumsy, and nearly useless. Many even scoff, comparing their clumsy gait to a drunk person trying to get home. And honestly, in some cases, they're not wrong. Most of today's humanoid robots still struggle to prove their usefulness in the real world. Some are so clumsy that it's hard not to doubt their potential. But if you pay attention, you'll notice that a lot has changed in the last two years. These aren't just one-off improvements. We're talking about significant advances. Previously, the spotlight was on the Tesla bot and Boston Dynamics Atlas. Today, the competition has escalated. Major companies from North America to China have entered the technology race, turning the market into a veritable battlefield. To be fair, we're not saying that Tesla's robot is the most sophisticated of the bunch, but we do believe that Optimus comes closest to truly transforming lives. What's more, it's one of the few that's affordable enough to become a reality in many people's lives. Elon Musk predicts that over time, Optimus will cost between $20,000 and $30,000, a price that could put a robot like this within the reach of many families. The big challenge is that, to date, most of these robots are nothing more than prototypes displayed in laboratories. We see news stories about incredible robots performing incredible tasks, but then they disappear, as if they never existed. This is where Tesla stands out. The company is actually building robots at scale. What's more, it unveiled 50 Optimus units at a major event, allowing people to interact directly with them. Interestingly, this event was to launch CyberCab, Tesla's new fully autonomous robo-taxi. But guess who stole the show? The robots. The crowd crowded around Optimus, not the car, showing that the Tesla bot is not just another promise. Optimus is already proving that it can do much more than anyone imagined. It can receive and check packages, serve drinks, fold clothes, charge your electric car, clean the kitchen, water plants, carry heavy objects, play with your family, dance, answer questions. The list goes on. And the most amazing thing, this is all just the beginning. Tesla has accomplished all of this in less than two years, an impressive feat that even its biggest competitor, Boston Dynamics, has publicly acknowledged. One of the company's leaders praised Tesla's work, saying that building a few robots from scratch in such a short amount of time is truly remarkable. He also noted that this kind of advancement is shining a light on a technology they themselves have been championing for decades. And that's not all. Recent leaps in artificial intelligence are turning robots into increasingly intelligent and functional machines. To put it simply, AI is evolving rapidly. And humanoid robots are the means by which that intelligence is taking shape in the physical world. For example, an AI like ChatGPT could give you the perfect recipe for dinner, but it wouldn't actually cook the food itself. Now imagine that recipe being executed by a humanoid robot like Optimus. 
that's a whole new level of understanding. It could literally walk into your kitchen and cook everything for you. According to Elon Musk, the big difference with the Tesla bot is its brain. Tesla isn't just putting regular AI into its robots. They're integrating real intelligence, trained in the physical world. Musk explains that everything Tesla has learned from self-driving cars is being adapted to the Optimus robot. In addition, the company is leveraging its experience with electric motors, batteries, power electronics, structural design, and, most importantly, mass production. And that's Tesla's trump card. While other companies are struggling to build working prototypes, Tesla is already thinking about industrial scale. Optimus isn't just a robot with legs. It's, in Musk's words, a car with legs. That's because it shares many of the same components already developed for the company's electric vehicles, including batteries, drivetrains, self-driving software, and even gears. This helps keep costs down and speeds up the development process. Of course, building millions of Optimus units won't be easy. Even with Tesla's entire infrastructure, building a human-like robot is a much bigger challenge than building cars. Everything has to be extremely compact and efficient. Otherwise, the result could be a clumsy robot, or as many joke, one that moves more awkwardly than President Biden. Tesla expects to begin production of the Optimus as early as next year. Musk revealed that the initial plan is to manufacture around 5,000 units, which represents an average of 100 robots per week. It's not a huge number, but it does show that mass production is officially underway. And if there's one thing Tesla does well, it's speed up production. Consider the Cybertruck. At the beginning of last year, it was only producing a few hundred per week. But within a few months, that number jumped to 3,000 per week. And that's for a vehicle that's notoriously complex to assemble. With that same mindset, Musk believes that Optimus production could reach between 50,000 and 100,000 units by 2026. And by 2027, the expectation is to surpass the 1 million mark. This may seem like an exaggeration. And let's face it. Elon Musk has a reputation for making overly optimistic projections. So if these numbers seem too bold, don't be surprised. Still, everything indicates that Tesla will accelerate with full force next year. And yes, we bet on it. If all goes well, Tesla plans to increase Optimus production tenfold next year. The goal is to manufacture between 50,000 and 100,000 units by 2026, and then increase that number tenfold the following year. That would bring us to around 500,000 humanoid robots in just three years. It's an ambitious goal, but it's part of Elon Musk's bold vision. One of the most fascinating aspects of Optimus is its ability to interpret human expressions and body language. The robot can identify intentions from simple gestures, such as a finger pointing or a hand signal, which makes communicating with it more intuitive and natural, especially useful for people with speech difficulties. This paves the way for more accessible and inclusive interaction. In addition, it will be possible to customize the robot in several ways, from its voice to its personality. Over time, Optimus will learn your habits, tastes, and preferences, anticipating your needs before you even have to ask. It will be able to recognize patterns and act proactively, like bringing you a drink when you point to the refrigerator, or preparing food when you just rub its belly. At a more advanced level, if it notices that you are tired, it can even offer you a massage. Can you imagine? Musk also revealed that the robot doesn't need to be programmed for everything. If it watches a video, be it a cooking recipe, a musical performance, or even a magic trick, it can learn just by watching, using neural networks, and deep learning techniques. Of course, it may perform these tasks clumsily at first until it gains enough experience. But that's part of the evolutionary process of AI. Still, it's worth keeping in mind that no technology is born perfect. Elon Musk has been transparent in admitting that Optimus will still have flaws in its early tests. Some examples. It may interpret commands incorrectly, like when you order food and it brings you an empty plate. Another challenge is the internet connection. If the signal drops, some of the robot's functions may temporarily fail. And then there's the classic obstacle. Stairs. While Optimus can climb and descend steps, it still requires extremely precise calculation and constant balance. Any mistake could cause him to trip or fall. But the good news is that all of these challenges are being worked on, and constant improvements will be made through software updates. Most impressively, the robot has the ability to adjust itself on the fly. One example, 
During a demonstration, Optimus dropped a battery cell from its tray, but reacted quickly and managed to correct the situation on its own. This kind of adaptive response shows that we are entering a new era of intelligent robotics. The robot rearranged everything on its own, without needing any human help. Creating a humanoid robot that can replicate human actions is an extremely complex task. That's why the new version of Optimus's arm now has 22 degrees of freedom, double the previous version, which had only 11. And, according to Elon Musk, the robot's hand represents almost half of the electromechanical engineering work involved in the entire project. This shows how essential this part of the body is to achieve the level of precision and dexterity that a humanoid robot needs. While other Tesla competitors are still focused on developing basic movements, often with robotic or clumsy results, Musk emphasizes that Optimus's difference lies precisely in its hands. This evolution allows it to perform delicate tasks much more naturally, such as holding a glass, folding clothes, or even playing the piano. This is not just a technical feat. It is a revolution in the practical use of robots in everyday life and on production lines. The latest version of Optimus comes with 22 degrees of freedom between the hands and forearms, a huge leap forward from the previous generation. Initially, engineers tried to place all the actuators directly in the hand to ensure greater strength but this resulted in a heavy and unnatural structure. The solution was to move most of these actuators to the forearm, making the hand lighter and more functional. It's important to note that many humanoid robots on the market today only have five to six degrees of freedom in their hands, and many don't even have five functional fingers. Instead of mimicking human anatomy, they use pincers or claws, which greatly limits their abilities. Optimus, on the other hand, was designed with fingers that are proportional and distinct from each other, just like the human hand. Musk has said that this difference in finger size is essential for achieving more refined movements. After all, there's a reason why we have a small pinky finger. This attention to detail allows the robot to perform not only tasks that require strength, but also minute actions with precision. The human hand, with its 27 degrees of freedom, is one of the most sophisticated structures in biology, capable of writing, drawing, playing instruments, and manipulating objects with extreme agility. Replicating this complexity in a robot is a huge challenge. It is not enough to simply imitate the shape. It is necessary to ensure performance and sensitivity similar to the human touch. Optimus' new 22-degree of freedom hand and forearm are now in production. The robot is learning to walk more fluidly and even catch balls in motion. It's impressive to see how far the project has come in such a short time from a concept to one of the most advanced humanoid robots on the planet. Optimus's hands represent much more than simple mechanical components. They symbolize the technological advancement that can lead robots to perform increasingly complex functions. With this evolution, the robot will no longer be limited to simple tasks, but will be able to engage in more demanding and useful activities in everyday life. If Elon Musk's plan comes to fruition, Optimus could be used in a variety of areas from domestic help and elderly care to highly precise roles in medicine and scientific research. It could replace humans in repetitive, dangerous, or precision-demanding tasks, and that would represent a huge leap forward in productivity and quality of life. And it doesn't stop there. Musk has already stated that Optimus could become one of Tesla's biggest sources of revenue. In his words, this project has the potential to take the company to a market value of $25 trillion. Unlike electric cars, which face strong competition from brands like BYD, Ford, Volkswagen, GM, and others, in the field of humanoid robots, Tesla could come out on top on its own. If it can deliver on its promises, Optimus could open up a whole new market for personal and industrial robots. And with Tesla's expertise in artificial intelligence, software, and mass production, it could dominate this new sector in the same way it did with electric vehicles.